Hey everybody, Goldie here, and we are taking a look at the Chase character for this year's zombie event. It is uh, Bobby Lashley, the All Bitey. Um, in my Drew preview, I said I was a little disappointed that they didn't have zombie puns. Um, they knocked it out of the park with the, the All Bitey. Come on, that's great. Anyways. So this is our chase character for this event. Um, again, looks dope. Um, just he was like the black and gold hurt business gear and then just zombified. Excellent. Well done. Absolutely well done on this. Um, so let's take a look. He is uh, what we thought he was going to be. Um, not like the bears who are they, who we thought they were, but like um, we assumed that he was going to be the black MP reduction coach, and lo and behold, he is. Um, so I believe that's every color now. A uh, quick look at the links. Even that looks amazing. Uh, so modern era, gems do 5% more damage, uh, standard zombie link, 20% more health, and the zombies 2021 link, any color moves that deal damage will deal 25% more damage. Uh, modern era showboat, uh, but not your father's showboat. He is um, very powerful, very versatile, and um, like right away, I'm just like, I need this card. So gonna do a three star a four star and a five star set and then a couple variations because like i said he is versatile and there's a lot of fun ways that you can run him depending on the trainers and coaches you have so we're going to start with the three star move set and um i heard y'all needed a red uh, yellow stip tour guy i heard y'all needed a yellow stip tour guy so the three-star move set surprisingly doesn't use the finisher. We'll bring that in for the four-star, but we're gonna run him double red with blue one. So blue one is the bite. Deal ninety-three thousand seven hundred thirty-nine damage and choose a four by seven area to make into reinforced gems. It's one MP. That's pretty beefy move damage for a one MP move. I'll take it. Um, the Beal Zabub. Get it? Like Beelzebub, but it's a Beel. So the Beelzebub throw. Incredible pun. I'm, I love everything about this card. Uh, 5 MP. Deal 73... I know how to talk. Deal 73,939 damage. And choose a 4x1 area to make into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into Yellow Gems when broken by you. And red 2 is the Corner Impaler, also 5 MP. Deal 61,774 damage and make 4 Snowfall Gems into red gems. So, choosing the area of Snowfall Gems means it will not be affected, at least this move, will not be affected by the Gem Generation Down perk in Fuse. And um, without Tour perks... He's turn one. And possibly in showdown with double red MP trainers, he would be perk proof as well. I'm not doing the math in my head right now, um, but massive potential. So for preview purposes, I'm going to run Butch to make sure everything starts turn one. Uh, we're going to do Shane McMahon for 35% more uh, yellow gem damage. Uh, not more beneficial to use Junkyard Dog because he's also 35% and this will boost all of the yellow gems instead of just the 4x7 area. And uh, we're going to use Zombie Sasha to put more yellow gems on the board. I have an open coach slot here. Um, if you had the modern era striker that we're not allowed to talk about but his name is like train related. Uh, he 
boosts yellow gem damage. And if you had Hall of Fame Booker, he also boosts yellow gem damage. I have neither. Um, and I mean, like, I have Snoop, but I don't want to put him on for preview purposes because it's not a card that everybody has. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it blank, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just going to leave it blank. For the belt. We are doing Full Fury for a showboat. Um, we're going to do a red percent metal. And the plate, not super necessary, but I have a general's orders, like, if you were going against a trickster and they dodged, you could, you know. This isn't even, like, he's not even using yellow moves. It's just on. You'll see why. I'm using it later. Um, and tour perks are gone. So... Let's see. Gonna beat up Drew again. I think Drew is my Vader, to be honest. Gonna beat up Drew. Standard zombie entrance. Excellent. Dumpster fire in the background, just like my life. Okay, so everything is ready to go. Everything is ready to go. So we're gonna hit the zombie Quan, which is the bite. It's like hit the Quan, but with zombies. Uh, gonna throw it there so we can latch on to those bad boys and that bad boy. So you want to put the reinforced gems first. And then we're gonna do the Beelzebub throw. Just throw them out the club. And we're gonna put it on the top row because there's snowfall, therefore it affects down. Uh, top row aligned with the reinforced gems. And then we're going to hit the corner and paler, and we're going to turn these four into red gems. And you know what that sound means? It means he ain't kicking out! Eight hundred sixty-four thousand damage on turn one for a showboat. Thanks for playing. And that's the three-star move set. I'm not entirely sure how everything scales at lower rarities. Like if you get the three-star bronze recruit, I'm not sure how large the area is. Um, but that's like that's insane. And there's definitely going to be a run it back on that moveset. Have no fear. Run it back. We'll be here. Um, let's keep going and take a look at the four-star moveset. Four-star moveset we're going to take a look at is double yellow with blue two. So we're bringing in the finisher, which is the Shambling Spear. 10 MP. Deal 178,487 damage. Choose five gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Uh, yellow 2 is the dirt lock. Like, again, with these with these puns, like the dirt business? Come on now, that's excellent. Um, it's an 8 MP submission. Place 7 submission gems and do 23,401 damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into protect gems of strength 46,801. Crazy. And uh, blue two is the Yokozuna Throat Cutter. Violent. Love it. 6 MP. Deal 74,153 damage and choose eight gems to make into yellow gems. Um, so, excellent. First glance looks great. Um, so we're going to use Lawler for more blue MP and Dolph. For more yellow gems, I feel like you don't really need anybody to paywalled for this. Like, seems like a MP trainer and a gem trainer will be just fine. I'm gonna use Rikishi to help charge the yellow moose faster. And I don't know why Bailey's on here, to be honest. It doesn't, like, she's not gonna do anything. But she's there, um, just to make things look nice and complete. And so the belt for this... 
I would recommend going full armor uh, because you're leaving fairly beefy protect gems on the board and then you're hitting a, a substantial finisher. So the hope is to keep them down. Um, but I don't have an armor percent medal, so I'm doing half takedown, half armor. Um, but I do have a tier 5. It's not quite leveled up yet, but we're getting 160 bonus damage on the finisher. So thought process here is to um, charge your yellow moves with the blue move, hit the sub, and then choose blues to destroy to recycle. Let's see if it works. So if we had tour perks, level three would mean a six MP move is ready to go. We do not have those, but we'll be ready to go on the next turn. So we'll match um, that. And because we have the general's orders played on, would you look at that? We're ready to go. We don't even have to hit the blue move. And that'll be ready to go. Damn. That'll be ready to go on the next turn. So let's, let's see what the zombie dirt lock looks like. Little flaily. All right. You could put Tech Drew on as a coach. Make that a little more substantial. He's gonna hit us for no damage. Um, and we're gonna just we're going to spear him in half. He's going to die. Um, let's... Yeah, let's do it. Bap! Oh, and we critical them. Oh, and we're going to get that. Cascade. Not that we need to break blue because it's charged, but, like, that's what you would do. We're going to charge everything. 618,000 and those um those protect gems are just too beefy also in hindsight you could use mickey instead of bailey um again don't really want to do previews with people that are somewhat rare um but mickey would be a very good option to help destroy more so that was effective Let's, um, yeah, two good move sets so far. Let's keep going and take a look at what the five star move does. So the five star move is the unearthed power slam and we're going to try it running triple yellow. So we're using the finisher, we're using the sub and we're bringing in the power slam. It's nine MP, deal 96,829 damage and make four random protect gems into multiply gems of strength 13. Just gonna let that marinate for a bit. Um, confession time, Mickey's not gonna work. And I keep forgetting that. I always think that she's yellow moves that destroy gems will destroy X more gems. She's moves that destroy yellow gems. So she's not gonna work. And, um, I'm using both of my whiffs on the same moveset, I guess. I forgot that I took Tech Drew to 9k and that he gives an extra submission turn um, my plan, which I'm still going to do, it's just not going to be as effective, was to use MVP to reduce the amount of submission turns to ensure that we keep the protect gems that we want to convert on the board, but instead of two turns, it's only going to be one because Tech Drew gives us an extra turn. But he also gives us 50% more submission damage. So it should work out in the end. Uh, I'm going to use Kofi and Shamrock. I hate using MP trainers. Never mind two of them at once. But I want to see what everything looks like when it's ready to go. So this is like a super not like me preview. Um, we are keeping the yellow percent metal. And we've switched the armor set to Fury. And we're keeping the general's orders plate on just in case we need um, some yellow gems. And the thought process here is we're going to put the submission gems on yellow 
and then convert them into multiply gems of strength 13 because that's our primary color. You break one of those and it'll charge all three moves. So let's see how it plays out. So lucky for us, we have a yellow match. Yay. So we're going to hit the dirt lock. And again, you want to put them on its primary color. Two, three, four, five, six. He'll probably take this and break it, which is fine. We're only going to convert four of them anyways. So if he breaks one, he breaks one. I mean, he can break three for all I care. So, current gem damage for yellow gems is um, 6,352. We're going to hit the unearthed power slam and make four of these into multiply gems of strength 13. That's not Halloween-y, the number 13. Um, and the yellow metal is going to help, and the takedown set is going to help us chip away with move damage. So from 6,300 to 82,000. <laughs> uh, I'm not laughing maniacally. You're laughing maniacally. And we're going to hit the spear. And we're going to break all four of those. And um, yeah, you too, Mick. Does it matter? Let's just break another yellow gem. And we're going to leave two protects on the board. And so everything... Why does this keep popping up? So everything is charged. We've hit him for 918,000. And he can try to kick out. All he wants. But he's not going to. So that's nuts. Well, that was fun. That was really fun. Okay, so we're three for three on viable movesets for a chase character, which means you should chase them. Zombies are always really good. Even the bad zombies are good. Um, that was fun. There is, uh, there's a variation I want to try on the five-star moveset, so let's take a look at that. Going to try a slight variation of the triple yellow. We're going to take out the finisher and we're going to bring in the Yokozona throat cutter so we can choose gems to make into yellows, uh, taking out both yellow MP trainers for Lawler and Dolph. And I'm going to keep Tech Drew and I'm going to keep MVP. So let's take that. Let's cascade, why don't we? I don't see this being better than using the finisher, but let's at least try it. And that way we know. And we're going to cover up his red gems because we're trolls. And his black gems. Sucker. Okay. And we've left ourselves a minefield of yellow gems. Maybe I didn't think that one through. Let's put them on the ones that aren't wild cards. Hey, Mick. Are you helping? Get off the laptop. I know you want to help, but you can't sit on the computer while I'm helping. Mick. I know. Say hi to everybody. 
mix helping with the preview. Isn't that right, buddy? All right. Um, yeah, so this didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Because we can convert them and he's just going to explode things on the board. So, like, if you use this sub first... Well, at least it converted the one we're going to match. If you use the sub first and then convert them and then use the blue move to, like, connect them? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. This isn't working the way I wanted it to, though. I'm just going to break a bunch of these. That's fine. That's why we make seven and convert four. The good thing is the protect gems are fairly strong. So even if you, you know, convert four of them and leave three on the board, we're going to break this one. But like they're still going to, that's a visual glitch. Um, they're still going to block a significant chunk of damage while you deal damage. Why does this... Like, is this the tell for we won the match as my Google Play thing pops up? Anyways. Yeah. So that's... Okay. So that didn't entirely work the way I wanted to. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's try it again. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Um, I've taken the Lawler off and I've put Kofi on. And I'm gonna keep Dolph. And of course there's no, um, there's no yellow gems or red gems, um, but there are loot gems. Oh, yay. So we can at least submit him first. Oh goody, and we're out of uh, yellow gems. So we'll go blue. Oh, rude. Oh, rude. Oh, ruder. Took no matches. I'm not going to convert them yet, then. I will wait and protect myself. Well, this sucks. The whole one damage thing is kind of fun, though. Maybe... Maybe double MP trainers like Kofi and Lawler? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I'm stupid. God! Oh, why? How was that not fixed yet? Goodness!
I'm amazed we still have those protect gems. Famous last words, I know. Can we get a red match somewhere or something? Like, goodness. Oh, now I don't need it because there's a yellow match. Okay, so that took forever to get charged, um, but we did. I guess this is a good lesson on how do you get yourself out of a match when it doesn't go the way you want it to? Well, with a good amount of patience and cursing, anything is possible. Okay. Let's try this again. Dirt lock. Love that name. Yeah, we'll go up there for... Yeah, we'll go up there. Saw that coming. Okay. So. Convert to multiply gems. Nice, and we got that blue one too. Okay, so choose 12 gems to make into yellow gems. So I want to make sure that's yellow. We got that, and that, and that, 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 and that, that, that. that. All right, that usually means the match is over. Oh, there's there's the hello there. Excellent. Okay, so that is more in line of what I was thinking. Um, took a long time, but we got there. I'm probably liking the triple yellow better. Beef up that finisher and they're not kicking out. This card is really good even after watching that preview and the fact that we somehow managed to survive, he's still very good. All right, let's talk about him a little bit. That concludes my preview of Bobby Lashley, the all bitey. Um, so my thoughts are he's very versatile. You can run him um, defensively with the Protect Gems, um, Zombie AJ, beef up the yellow sub, and a full armor set, and make sure your opponents stay down with that finisher. You can run him full Fury with the Multiply Gems. You can run him full Fury with those Reinforced Gems. Like, he's got a couple very usable movesets. Um, I will definitely have a run it back for him because there is a lot of potential to be unlocked with this character and I plan to unlock it and share it with you guys and girls. So, um, let me know what you think. I'm definitely all in for Bobby. Definitely. He's black and gold. Like, how can I not be? Look at this gear. That and I'm all about the hurt business life. Z business is booming. <laughs> All right. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know if you're going for it. Let me know if there's a moveset that you like that I didn't try. I always love hearing the feedback, respectfully, of course. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.